Hey everyone, um, I just wanted to shoot a quick video of the finished Malifaux board that I just did. It's uh, Hamelin's Hovel. Um, essentially this is going to be a sewer board. And for those of you who haven't played Malifaux, this is a 3 foot by 3 foot board, which is standard for Malifaux. And uh, heavy terrain, um, that's one of the big things with Malifaux, there is a lot of terrain on the table. So you can't get away with just a few pieces of terrain on the table, you actually need quite a bit. Um, I always try to do my boards with a bit of a theme, so this one I wanted to do something that's a little bit dirty and mucky. Um, I could have spent a little bit more time on it, but with me doing everything that I'm doing for the Midwinter Gaming Convention here in Milwaukee, I just don't have the time to at the moment. So, um, what I can do is I'll just, uh, kind of zoom in on a couple spots here and show you some of the stuff that I did. Um, the board itself is actually made out of... A foam, a pink foam bottom, uh, a cardboard base that I kind of use to separate where the sewer is here to, uh, from the foam core that I used for the, uh, the actual floor. And then all the walkways are half inch thick pink foam along with these walls that you see here. And then the stairwells themselves are uh, inch thick pink foam. And, uh, of course, uh, the four wall sections in the middle are also half-inch pink foam. Um, I used a couple of different brick techniques, so that way it all didn't look the same and you know, different concrete techniques. Um, that way it'll give it a little bit more character than just having everything, the standard one-inch blocks or whatever the case may be. So, yeah, so I'll start zooming in here a little bit. Um, on each side, we've got this little section with the sewer pipe and the ramp. And then underneath, these are actually four inch tall uh, walls and pillars, so it's actually quite easy. I'll come around to this side here. To get your hand under here, you've got plenty of playroom to move models. So, actually works out pretty well. Opening over here. And kind of do a drop shot into the center here for you. There you go. Kind of coming up over the top. Now this stuff here, that you see, this is actually the uh, the gap filler stuff that you can buy from any of your um, hardware stores like Home Depot or Menards. Um, I just sprayed it onto the board and let it grow to the size that I wanted. And then uh, if I needed to add a little bit more, I did. And then I painted it kind of like a sickly brownish yellow. And then uh, I added a uh, just kind of a red wash to it. Um, I could do a little bit more to this, but I am a little rushed on this board at the moment. So, I may come back and hit that later and clean it up a little bit more, or at least as much as, you know, what Funky Yellow Plague is supposed to look like. So, you know, give it a little bit more of a uniform look. And then the board in the middle here, where you see all the sewage, this is all, you see this technique, I actually cut out a cardboard ring with the, uh, what am I, why am I getting the name of it, like the plastic, uh, it's used for sewing, I can't remember, or crocheting, I can't remember the name of it. But you can find it at pretty much any craft store. And then all this texture that you see here is nothing more than hot glue. That I ended up washing over and painting over. And then I added a, uh, just a, a Liquitex uh, gloss varnish to it to give it that wet, kind of nasty sewer look. So that's how I produced that effect. And come around over here a little bit more for you. So, kind of get another under angle shot. Um, normally, when I design my boards, I do try to keep them somewhat symmetrical, just due to the fact that, uh, well, like for example, I'm going to be taking this one to Adepticon, and uh, we're running a, a tournament this weekend at my store, so. It always helps to have boards that are a little bit more fair for people, so that way it, you don't have to sit there and decide who's got what side of the board. You could just set people up and they're ready to go. Um, I don't always do this, but I find that lately, because I've been building a lot of boards for gaming clubs and whatever, um, you know, that want to be more tournament focused, that I end up doing it. So, here you go. And that is pretty much everything. If uh, 
Do you have any questions about how I did any of this? Just uh, post a comment below. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.